Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. That amp's all set. Tubes came today, just have to test it out. I've been super busy doing other stuff. So, got three of these here this week. One uh, on the bench, one coming tomorrow, and then uh, being dropped off, and then another one on Monday. So, I want to get uh, started today early. It's Saturday. I don't usually work on the weekends, but I have a lot of amplifiers coming in. So he wants me to do the 10 meter mod, as you can see it goes to 21, so I'll do that, Ham owns this, all three are owned by Hams. So uh, with the amp, I'm going to show people how you remove the tubes, because a lot of people ask that, so uh, if you want the amplifier disconnected, make sure the meter is at zero, take the top cover off, has an interlock switch, that's what that brown thing is, don't ever remove that, pushes down on the switch. This has already been removed, unscrewed. So this is the shield for the RF compartment. There's a high voltage interlock. That brown thing pushes down on this crowbar circuit right here. So it just shorts out the B positive. Don't ever turn this on. Well, it won't turn on anyway with a, without top cover, but you don't ever want to defeat that and then take this cover off. You put a hard short in the plate supply. This shorts out any residual voltage in the filter caps. If that doesn't look like, if, it, if that's missing, you know, always still go in here with a screwdriver, go from ground, touch insulated screwdriver, touch the uh, screwdriver to the body of the amplifier, and then tap the, the anode connection. So, I already took one tube out. You want to un, you want to loosen these two screws right here for the parasitic suppressors. Oop, almost dropped my camera. <laughs> and, uh, Loosen this, take the screw out where the parasitic suppressor assembly attaches to the anode cap, and then you will swing this over this way. Actually, I go this way, and then you gently use both hands, gently back and forth a little bit while you're pulling it up, just just the tiniest bit. You can pull it up. Just be careful. I usually put both hands around it because you don't want to whack the tube against anything because it could break. You pull it out. Do the same with the other side. You know, unscrew it and flip it sideways like this. Boom, pull it out. And then tighten these back up. You can leave these in the amplifier when it's shipped. You do not leave the tubes in. This uh, customer purchased this amplifier uh, from someone else, had it shipped to himself, then had it shipped here. Tubes were left in when it went to him and when it went to me. And look how the, the plate assembly actually snapped the solder joint right there. And it's actually crooked now so this tube shot this tube is now shot so I'm gonna go through with the amp do all the stuff to it ground the grids do all the other good stuff and I will be back nice and clean unit right here see you soon hey everybody I'm back with the completed 922a Kenwood so I did all the modifications seen those in other videos you know ground of the grids added the strap over here clean the rotary switches serious glitch resistor diode for the to protect the plate current meter I did the 10 meter mod to this so just uh, waiting on a new set of tubes I have two more to do there's one there and then one on the other side of the bench I have to test this Heath, Heath get SP200 today so um, I get his tubes, I'll test it, and then he wants me to wire it over to 220. So, I work on a lot of these. Lots. All three are owned by hams. Nice and clean, super clean, this one and the other one. Uh, one of them, uh, the guy did some mods himself, which uh, I'll have to redo. But, so, lots of work to do here. So, if, uh, if anyone needs anything done, feel free to give me a call, 203-892-4119, that's 203-892-4119, and my website's amprepairguy.com. I'll show the inside real quick. So, Thanks for watching, have a great day.